Hi guys, uh, so in this video we will learn about what is the use case for primary annotation and qualifier annotation and how we can use both of them. And this is also the most asked question in the Springboard interviews. So let's understand by coding the example. So I think that's the best way to explain you this use case. So let's say we have one interface here, right? Content strategy and we have one method post content. So now what I will do, I will say one class and I will say image content strategy and then I will implement this interface. So I will implement content strategy. And whenever you are implementing the interface, you have to implement or override the method also, right? So what I will do here is I will click on implement methods. So this is how you can implement. So you see the post content, right? So in this, you can give your any implementation. So let's say I will say <coughs> image content strategy, right? Now I will create the another class, let's say video content strategy and it will also implement the same interface and I will just copy this method from here to here right now here I will say video content strategy. So now you will see there is one interface, there are two classes right image content strategy and video content strategy. So now what I will do, I will create one service, let's say class social media service, let's say right so and i will use service annotation here so here i will have one constructor with the same name social media service right which will get the content strategy right content strategy and then inside this it will set the content strategy right? so we will set one private final variable private final content strategy and i will give the same name here right so <clears throat> now you will see right i will say this dot content strategy is equal to content strategy and now we will have let's say one public method public void post post content let's say post right and it will just call dot post content so this is the method which will come from the interface which is content strategy so now try to understand the flow right so now we have one interface and now we have two classes right both are implementing the same interface now we have one service social media service and it is also using the same interface right and here i will use auto wire now if you see right we have two beans uh, video content strategy image content strategy right so i will what i will do i will use a uh, configuration here right and i will say <coughs> class config so in the class config we will declare both the beans right uh, image content strategy and video content strategy so what i will say public content strategy let's say video content strategy and then inside this we will just return a new video content strategy right and we will also use the bean annotation here so when you say bean annotation so we will give the same name so that uh, the spring boot compiler knows so here like this right and i will just copy paste this and i will say image content strategy here and i will use the same right so now our code is almost ready right so now we have configuration we have two beans which are qualifying for content strategy and then we have social media service which is using the content strategy right and content strategy is our interface which have post content method right so now if i go to the main method right so what i will do here is social media service right is equal to context dot get bean right so i will say social media service dot class right and then we will use social media service dot post method right so this is how our code looks in a single file but of course again when it's a production project you will have a different folder for service you will have different folder for configuration right and then you will use a test cases to test this but here i am directly using the application context just to show you the example right so now if i will run this program right so i just did maven spring boot run here so if you see here right uh, the build failure is there so if you see here right application failed to start because of the ambiguity problem because social media service required a single bean but two were found right because if you see here when we are doing the auto wired here right when we are doing auto wired in the social media service they need content strategy but content strategy have two beans here video content strategy and image content strategy right that's why this is known as ambiguity problem because spring boot compiler will not know right uh, what bean to ingest right and also if you see in the logs they will also give you a solution consider marking one of the beans as primary right or using qualifier to identify the bean that should be consumed right so let's see how we can resolve this with primary right so what i will say by default i will make 
the image content strategy as primary, right? So now what will happen is if case of ambiguity problem, we are telling the compiler that use this bean as a primary bean, right? So now if I will run the same program, you will see here the spring social media service will use the image content strategy, right? Because we are using here. Uh, so if you see here, right? So our dot post method is running. That's why that log is uh, coming here, right? Image content strategy. Now, now the next question is when the qualifier annotation will come into picture. So let's say I will copy this social media service, right? And now I will say, let's say social media service, uh, YouTube, right? Now in this case, right? Uh, in this case, I don't want the primary image content strategy, right? Because it will not work for the YouTube social media service, right? So what I need to do is I need to say that for this service, the video content strategy is qualifying, right? So where I am doing here auto wired, right? So I have to use here qualifier tag and inside this I have to qualify video content strategy. In this way, now what will happen is primary is image content strategy, which will work for all the social media services until or unless they will put this qualifier annotation, right? So in that way, qualifier have higher priority then primary annotation. So compiler knows when this social media service YouTube is working, it have to ignore primary because qualifier annotation is here. So now if I go to the main method right here, so if I say social media service YouTube, right? Uh, and then I will get YouTube dot class and then I will say dot post, right? So now if I will run the same program, so you will see that for social media service class image content strategy is working but for social media service youtube video content strategy is working right so in this way you can use primary annotation you can use qualifier annotation and you can use both when there are multiple services right so this is the use case for primary and qualifier annotation to solve the ambiguity problem in the spring boot so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content